Hey folks, Green Stuff Gav here. This week we're back with painting the final miniature from Warham, the Warhammer Underworlds uh, Hexbane's Hunters. This time we're doing Quiet Pock, the guy with the uh, crossbow. So we've, we did a video obviously where we did all the bases at once. Um, he's been undercoated in Colorforge's matte black. It's lovely, lovely black. Yeah, so we'll um, paint this chap and that'll be the, the last of the crew done. So obviously I'm going to go into fast forward mode and we will begin. So we're starting with a dry brush of Iron Warriors all over. This guy's absolutely covered in some really textured armour plate. So we can see, although I'm giving it a quick dry brush all over to start with, I'm then going back over just to give it because that gives it some nice highlights. Uh, the rest, the rest of um, the like the cloak and that will be the same that we did with the other guys. Just keep them consistent, sort of a dryad bark, and just sort of picking out all the the overcoat. Um, quite quite a thin thin coat because obviously I w w mainly water down into my pots, but. We can see I'm sort of going over and picking out some extra layers. Uh, Wood bears red because we went for a lovely red on the inside of the cloaks. Um, not much to say here. I sort of just trying to pick out all the bits. So there's like a lovely little scabbard and then his actual crossbow. I thought would be quite nice in red just to sort of give that um, focus that bit of... Uh, Attention. Um, Kadian flesh tone because he's got the same trousers as everyone else. So we're going to go for like a cream trouser. So we've started uh, with flesh tone because it goes over black very nicely. Uh, there's not a lot there. Um, gloves as well because. Again, so sometimes when you're painting a model, it can get very sort of samey. So adding a splash of colour here and there just really helps pick things out. Just sort of um, break up the monotony a bit. Especially when you're dealing with like these heavily, he heavily cloaked models. Bit of skin. Apparently he's got a whole load of um, uh, scars, which is why he wears a mask, but... Um, we'll give the overcoat a bit of a highlight again. So unli un unlike it's not um, edge highlighting; it's go it's painting everywhere that isn't a shad in shade. Let me see where we've done this in a thin coat. We're going back over it um, with the same colour, and that gives us that sort of that blending with the translucence. Yeah, we can. Um... Fortunately, where we've painted uh, all the rest of the, the the crew, now we're at sort of not a lot to say on this guy. It's a really nice crossbow, though. I quite like, like say, the the really heavily armoured look of the miniature. Now. Obviously, Rakarth Flesh is the colour we went through for the trousers, but it's too sharp a um, shade transition. So we've just mixed it in with Cadian Flesh Tone to give us a bit more of a subtle blend. And then we add, keep adding more Rakarth Flesh till we get to pure Rakarth Flesh for the highlight. See, mix it in there. And going straight back over, leaving all the shadings. Quite straightforward. But yeah, having that bone colour really sort of contrasts between the um, the the dark brown cloaks, which is good. Also pick out things like the um, the arrow shafts. 
all the other guys have got um, like stakes, but this guy doesn't. So got a little bomb on the end of his arrow, though. So we pick out the um, the fuse on that. And just a touch of gold, just to sort of pick out some extra colour, because he's got so much silver and armour on him. Um, a touch of gold, really, to just bring some colour. All the straps done in black, as for the rest of them. A bit of a tidy up. Pick out just the the um, end of the the flights on the arrows in a, a white, just a or an off white. I think this is um, Corax white. I think. And we're going to highlight all the metal bits. Although we've dry brushed all of it, is you can then go and give it an actual highlight on top, an edge highlight, and that really makes all your metal work shine. Yes, just a touch. And all the straps get a grey highlight, all the black leather, just to, again, as we did with the Terminator lady, is just to sort of make it look like, you, you know, rather than just, oh, it's a black strap, you'd still catch the light. Yeah, you worked out well. And there's the whole crew. Thanks for watching and have fun.